Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today a hedge fund owner has admitted that the AMC squeeze will happen. I've also got an update on my video yesterday of what was discussed in the US House Committee on Financial Services. Trust me guys, you do not want to miss this video. So stay tuned and let's make some money. But before I dive into the video, I just want to give a massive shout out to the 2,800 of you that have currently ding that notification bell because you guys are always the first to watch a new video as soon as it's released. So guys, be sure to drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel and ding that notification bell if you haven't already so that you don't miss another video just like this one. And now I want to dive straight in with the key information. So this was posted on the AMC Stock Army Facebook group. Crazy info, guys. So I'm a bartender and I work on the south side of Chicago. One of my regulars started his own hedge fund. Since I've met him, he's been trying to convince me to sell because he cares about me and doesn't want to see a young girl lose money who works so hard as a bartender. He's acted like he knew nothing about the ape army. He said he did research and it's such a bad flop and oh my god, you better sell. Well, your bartender here got him nice and wasted last night and he says, I'm not going to lie to you anymore, I am shorting AMC. And she says, I know honey, it's okay. Anything you tell me will not encourage me to sell and definitely won't discourage me from continuing to buy more. And he said, why? Why wouldn't you? You're gonna lose money, I swear. I'm worried about you. And she said, sir, I spend more money on fake purses from China. The current share price is what I spend on coffee per week. I ain't losing nothing, honey. And it will never be down below $9, which is where I first bought it at. So I will never lose any money. And he said, okay, I understand but I'm going to tell you my best advice with my inside information. Make sure you sell when it hits $300. Thanks for the advice. How ironic that the leaked information on message boards is that they will squeeze it to 300 and then drive it down as a scare tactic in order for the apes to sell. If we don't sell, we skyrocket. We've seen plenty of other posts on YouTube videos, Twitter pages, and on Reddit telling people that AMC is only going to squeeze to between $100 and $300 and therefore you should sell there while you still can. But we know this is FUD and it's absolute baloney. If AMC can run all the way from $20, $30 all the way up to $72 without a single short covering or a very small percentage of shorts covering, imagine what's going to happen when 100% of the legal shorts cover, let alone when all of the synthetic shorts cover as well. This just blatantly proves the hedge fund driven FUD that's out there. Even hedge fund owners and hedge fund managers are trying to convince people to sell when it hits $300. Now, I guess you could say maybe it's a made up story or maybe it's a fake account, but it looks like this guy has done his research and he said it's a legit Facebook account with the correct location and Facebook profile with some distance on it, as in the profile has been there for some time and has got many posts and actual real life human friends. Again, maybe it's a made up story, but it does seem quite far-fetched that somebody would go to the extent of making a fake account and a fake story just to get some likes on a Facebook group. You could maybe understand if this person was getting paid thousands and thousands of dollars just for a post, but she's not getting paid anything to post on Facebook. I personally would love to see some whistleblowers come forward from those hedge funds or from Citadel or a different hedge fund that is actually shorting AMC and expose the truth of exactly what is going on inside those hedge funds. However, at the moment, any investment professional that's come forward so far has been sued and therefore hasn't done any whistleblowing. We've also got a short update from Charles Payne who spoke on Fox yesterday. When the full video comes out, I'll be sure to share it with you, but here's a clip. I want to make sure that hedge funds can never keep shorting unlimited amounts of stock because every short is a deliberate sell, a deliberate attempt to knock the stock down, and that is not a free market. I personally think it's great that Charles Payne is speaking out for the apes. And again, it's absolutely brilliant that he's bringing this to the attention of the regulators and the mainstream media. It is absolutely true that every short is a deliberate attempt to crush the AMC price. And that deliberate attempt of shorting unlimited amounts of stock that doesn't actually exist because it's mostly synthetic shares does not give an example of a free market. I personally think the more publicity we can drive to this topic, the regulators will have no choice but to make change. When something gets too public and too big, something has to be done. I also wanted to give you a quick FUD warning today because today is the day that Robinhood IPOs. Be careful on the day Hood releases their IPO. Jim Cramer may have just given us their next play, a conspiracy theory. They're going to use these dark pools to knock the price of AMC and boost the price of Robinhood. 
while the mainstream media reports that we sold our AMC for Robin Hood. You've even then got a paid shill comment of someone pretending to be an ape saying what is the date the IPO is said to go live? Can't wait to buy some Robin Hood. Especially as today, the 29th of July, is the date that Robin Hood is doing their IPO. It wouldn't surprise me if the hedge funds and the mainstream media goes all out with the FUD today to try and crush the AMC price and convince as many paper hands as possible to sell and buy the Robin Hood IPO. While you could potentially make some money day trading the Robin Hood IPO or buying it and then selling it, personally, I don't think it's worth selling your AMC shares for that. It's better to just be an ape with diamond hands and continue to hold your AMC. Aviv on Twitter said, I cannot believe what I heard today from the US Congress in regards to regulation of the financial markets. It sounds like certain legislators are actively reviewing Twitter and looking to make real changes based on our rhetoric. Absolutely wild. I think this is in response to the US Congress Financial Committee that was discussing HR 4617, 4618 and 4619 yesterday. I personally haven't yet listened to what was said, but I'll be sure to do that today and report back with any good news. Although it does sound like this person was listening to that report and it was overall very positive. It sounds like they are listening to us and wanting to make change. Obviously nothing has been put in place yet, none of these rules have been enacted, but when they do, I'll be sure to keep you updated. I'll be sure to keep you updated when they're planning to be enacted and when it actually goes into effect. And finally for today, I just wanted to calm any nerves that you might be having. If we were wrong, they would have covered by now. If we were wrong, they wouldn't have hired thousands of shields and written bot scripts for accounts. Just like those bots telling you to sell between $100 and $300 per share. If we were wrong, they wouldn't be offering people money to become bots. If we were wrong, they wouldn't be shutting down YouTube investors and sending cease and desist letters to financial investment brokers who speak out against them. If we were wrong, they wouldn't tell us we were wasting our money. If we were wrong, they wouldn't need to continue to borrow shares just to fight us. And finally, if we were wrong, they would have disproven our due diligence and facts. They have yet to disprove it or why the mother of all short squeezes won't happen. Not a single shred. And that's exactly what I've spoken about today. Hedge funds are trying to do absolutely everything they can to convince us we're wasting our money and that it's not going to squeeze or, or if it does squeeze, it'll only be between $100 and $300. So you're better off going somewhere else. Guys, be sure to let me know down in the comments below what you think about this hedge fund owner trying to convince people to sell at $300 a share. And if you want to pick up some shares in AMC, but you haven't even yet signed up to a trading platform, be sure to sign up with Fidelity because they don't sell your orders to market makers like Citadel who route them through the dark pool. Basically, don't use Robinhood or Weeble to buy AMC. Although saying that, Weeble do have an excellent beginner investment platform. They've got great charting, they've got news, they've got company fundamentals and figures, they've got option order flow, they've got absolutely everything. So if you do wanna buy some other stocks like Apple, Amazon, Tesla, Netflix, or anything else, then be sure to sign up using my link down in the description below to get some free shares. And if you're from the UK, be sure to sign up with Free Trade again using my link in the description down below to get some free shares because they also don't sell your order flow. And as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out some of my others. Alternatively, subscribe to the channel and ding that notification bell because that way you'll be alerted when I upload a new video. Cheers.